Lie down. Lie down. I'll get, I'll get the other one now. A bow, a bow, a bow, a bow, a bow, a bow, a bow. These dogs, a lot of them are gun shy. That one is. The whip popping down there is probably the little wheel see if we can get through it.
that into food and fiber for humans but uh, <clears throat> it's so rough and rugged they had to have some way of handling their livestock and so several hundred years ago they started developing these dogs to help them and I'm sure they just you know some farmer had a dog that kind of helped him a little bit and uh, <clears throat> they crossed him with a neighbor's dog and picked the best ones out of them and developed over a bunch of years that's how we got these dogs like they are now. They've been keeping pedigrees on them um, <clears throat> for over a hundred years, but but I'm sure they were started way before that. Um, <clears throat> you can see there's quite a bit of difference in the look, the hair coat of those two dogs. Floss, Binga, um, <clears throat> and uh, Jack is that dog down there. He's a long-haired dog and got a lot of brown on him and. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter what they look like. They've been bred just for what they do. So you can have a litter of pups that will come looking quite different. The only way to really tell floss if it's a purebred border collie is, um, <coughs> is uh, floss is the way they work livestock. And uh, the the, what border collies have, what makes them different than any other breed of dogs in the world is they have two things that are different. One of them is what we call balance. And that's, that's how a dog knows how to get in exactly the right place and exactly the right time to control livestock. Now this dog is doing what she tells him to do, but, uh, and so, he, he looks like it's just that she's putting him where she wants him to be. But they have to have an ability to be able to control livestock on their own. I'll show you that when I start working mine a little bit. The other thing, and, and we teach them to use that ability to put livestock where we want them to go instead of where they want them to go. And <clears throat> um, so the other thing that they have is what we call eye and it's basically the stalking motion that a wild coyote or a, a wolf anything that's gonna any kind of predator animal that's trying to stalk a prey they they will use that stalking motion you'll see it on lions and tigers and wild dogs and coyotes and wolves but what, we've kind of refined that so that they use that to push their livestock where we want them to go and not scare them to death. You gotta, there's a fine line between having them scared to death thinking they're going to get caught and where they respect the dog uh, and have them um, do what, go, be able to put livestock where, you want, where they want them to go. So send them back down that way and just kind of leave them, Donna. <clears throat> and they're, all, do all dogs are different. That dog is particularly hard to handle. He's been a really, really hard dog to handle, and he's a real pushy dog. If they're, which this one is too, if they're going 100 miles an hour, they're still not going fast enough for those two dogs. They just want to push, push, push. And Donna's had a lot of trouble getting control on him. You can see he's just pushing her like crazy today and not, not listening, not stopping, not. Uh, he just getting, he just pushing and and cheating on her when he when she tells him to stop and trying to get right up on him. You know, some of that has something to do with the way they're started, but some of it has to do with the way that they're bred to be. Now, if you wanna, if you're out there just trying to pin a bunch of cows, you know, you don't mind that quite so much. But when you're trying to make real precision type stuff like field trialing, which is what she has him for. She doesn't, use, she doesn't have livestock, so she's not using him for that. He's got to be different than that. And plus, they can be both, but it's, it's hard to get them there, you know. And um, 
do that dog can can uh it, it, i could train them in numbers if i wanted to that doesn't make any difference now it is harder for me i'm really about the only person i know that uses different sets of verbal commands there are some people use different whistles on different dogs but it's harder for me but it's easier for the dog and the reason that i do it is so when i'm starting a young dog working with another dog after i've been training it a while if i can start it working with a dog that's in a completely different set of commands it makes it much easier for that dog to lie there and lie still while the other the older dog is working which is the hardest thing to get them to do you know now i'm going to try to show you a little bit of balance and and eye on floss as i send her out there to get those sheep that's good so that's her command to go to her left around stock and she's reading those stock as she's going out there Escada. <clears throat> Vault. Now, as she starts bringing them there, as those sheep start drifting one way or the other, she's going to try to cover them and straighten them back out. And she's doing that on her own. And that's what we call balance. She's also using her eye to bring them here. So, and, and we teach them early on to bring livestock to us. So see how she's riding that side as those sheep are trying to go this way? And she's doing that on her own, and that's the that's balance that border collies have that no other breed in the world has consistently. You'll get a, a, a occasional dog in other breeds that has some of it but the real precise balance that border collies have as a general rule is not there like it is with border collies and other breeds of dogs. And then she's using her eye to bring those sheep. Now, this dog and, and Jack both think they've always got to be going. If I don't say anything to them, they're just constantly working instead of just hold them there, you know? Just be still and don't push them past me. But they, it, so we have to do some handling of them as we go. You kind of saw, saw Donna as she was driving those sheep with her, with uh, Jack. Let's get up. Let's get up. Abajo. Abajo. Both of these dogs are really quick, which is nice when you need it to be quick. It's not so nice when you don't need one to be quick. Honey. Boss.
Here, here comes Dot. Dot, that'll do. Come on, Floss! Dot, that'll do. Dot, lie down, lie down. These two dogs are young, a good bit younger. Um, this is their first year to really do much demonstrations. Yesterday was probably the most people Dot's ever seen in her life. Uh, there's a lot of people here. Sky, lie down. They're litter mates, actually. You can see Dot is a long-haired dog. Sky is short-haired. It really doesn't make a bit of difference to those sheep, whether they're long-haired or short-haired or black or brown or white or whatever. <coughs> Dot's tra <coughs> trained in a set of commands that most Border Collies are trained in, like Jack is. <coughs> and a way to me to go to the right, come by to go to the left. Lie down, lie down. And she hadn't really quite figured out when I'm talking to y'all or when I'm talking to her yet. So <coughs> it makes it a little bit harder for her. Sky, lie down. Sky, lie down. And it's it's real hard. Sky. I left home this morning and put them in the crate, and then I just jumped them out, and I hadn't had time to walk them or anything. And But you want to try to train a dog so that if I, if I if I have a calf out on the road at night, I need to be able to get that dog and jump him out of my pickup and put that calf back in without a bunch of craziness. I want him to calm down and get, and so it's real important for them to be able to come out and be ready to work at that time. And so a lot of it is just how you, how you work with them. And it, a lot of it is the temperament, the nature of the dog, but <clears throat> it, it, throw some extra challenges in there so it's kind of nice for them to just sit there a minute and kind of get their thoughts and think you know what I better I got to listen so God away to me away to me away a bow plus dot 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 lie down lie down lie down <laughs> And one of the reasons they don't like to stop for you, for example, right here, she wanted to keep them away from that fence because she knows when they're on that fence or when they're next to those woods, next to a place that they might get away from her, that she doesn't have, that the sheep have got the advantage over her. So th that's when they're the hardest to stop. It's when there's some pressure on them from tight quarters or something, which is, this is what was really a tight area to work them in. Dot dot. Dot dot. Lie down. Lie down. <laughs> yes. Sky. Knock it off. Lie down. Lie down. <laughs> left. Left. Now Sky was going to her left. Lie down. Lie down. But she was going right straight at the livestock. She was going to move them before she got there. That's the reason I corrected her and made her start again, so she went clean enough to get around them. She has a tendency to want to cut, go straight into her stock all the time. Come by, come by. So by having them trained in different sets of commands, Andale, I can work those dogs. Lie down, lie down, Teresa, atrás, abajo. Abajo, abajo, lie down, Dot, lie down, atrás. So Floss just used you people in a tight area to, to give an excuse for her to come tighter. So I walked in there and made her understand, abajo, abajo, that she had to stay clean. Away to me, wow. away to me. Lie down, left, left, left. Lie down, lie down. Come by, come by. Come That's by. amazing. Lie down, lie down. Dang. Wow. Lie down, Hungary. Abajo, got, 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 got. Lie down, come by, lie down. Got, 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 got. lie down. Got, come here, got. come by. Lie down, okay. lie down, lie down, <laughs> lie down. Scott, Scott. Lie down. Abajo. 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 Wait a minute. Lie down, Doc. Lie down. <laughs> Easy, Scott. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. 
Abajo, abajo, abajo. Easy. Abajo. God, lie down. Lie down. Have a few dogs before you get one of those. Lie down. Lie down. Abajo. Abajo. Abajo, 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 abajo. I'm just beginning to abajo. I'm just beginning to dot on whistle, and she really doesn't know them very well yet. But I'm gonna try to use her and floss her with, with whistles. Abajo. Abajo, abajo, 
Lie down. Lie down. That's right.